Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program designed to help you integrate and heal the pattern and beliefs of fear. This is an emotional EMDR mini course whose goal is to guide you through a process of understanding, reframing, and building resilience to this pattern or belief. It is recommended that you use this program in full screen mode, while sitting still and upright. Follow the movements of the ball or pattern on the screen with your eyes. As the words from the audio are spoken, notice the feelings they evoke in your body and any mental images that may arise. If your mind starts to wander, gently redirect your focus back to the moving ball or pattern. Optionally, or if you are not able to use video, you can also tap on one or more EFT points. How it works. In step one, we evoke the distressful emotional state of the belief or pattern. Note. This can be emotionally triggering. Take full responsibility for your well-being. In step two, we offer ourselves loving, compassionate self-acceptance for this state and beliefs. We then reframe the belief, pattern or state with new positive suggestions to the mind. We then bridge the mind into the new, more positive reality. We finally express gratitude for the new positive reality, taking it as fact. Ready. Section 1. Unpacking Emotional Experiences. We begin with a setup of the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still deeply love, honor and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I feel constantly on edge, like my heart is always racing, even when there's no real danger around. Whenever I think about my childhood, I feel like I'm reliving those moments of fear and uncertainty all over again. I often have this unshakable feeling that my fears are inherited from my ancestors, like they're imprinted in my DNA. Sweating and trembling happen to me even in situations where I know I shouldn't be afraid. I keep having these vivid nightmares where I'm trapped or chased, and I wake up feeling exhausted. My thoughts always spiral into worst-case scenarios, even in completely safe situations. I believe that my constant fear is attracting more negative experiences into my life. I avoid social situations because I'm scared of being judged or embarrassed. Even thinking about future events fills me with dread, like something bad is bound to happen. I find myself overcompensating in some areas of my life to mask my fears. In relationships, I'm always afraid of being abandoned, so I either cling too tightly or push people away. I feel like my fear is a dark cloud that repels positive people and opportunities from my life. I often lie awake at night, worrying about all the things that could go wrong tomorrow. There's this constant belief in my mind that I'm not safe, no matter where I am. I feel like my life is a series of missed opportunities because my fear always holds me back. I get anxious even thinking about leaving my comfort zone, so I just stay stuck in the same routine. My fear makes me imagine that people are always talking about me or plotting against me. I worry that my fears will always control me and I'll never be able to live a normal life. In group settings, I'm terrified of speaking up so I just blend into the background. I feel like my fears are so deep-rooted, they might be coming from past lives I can't even remember. I'm scared that my future will just be a repetition of my fearful past. When I'm in a crowd, I feel like I'm suffocating, even though I know I'm physically safe. I believe that my fear is a barrier that's blocking all the good I could manifest in my life. My relationships suffer because I'm either too scared to commit or too fearful to be alone. I'm afraid that my fear will lead me to a future where I'm completely isolated. I constantly feel a sense of impending doom, like something terrible is about to happen. I'm worried that my physical symptoms of fear are signs of a deeper, undiagnosed illness. I have this deep-seated belief that the world is a dangerous place, and I need to be on guard always. My fear of failure is so intense that I don't even try new things anymore. I'm convinced that my fear is making me miss out on love, success, and happiness in life. I dread future events, imagining that I'll panic or embarrass myself, 
so I often just cancel plans. I believe that my fearful thoughts are so powerful, they're creating a negative reality for me. I'm terrified that my future will be just as filled with fear as my past and present are. I feel like my entire life is dictated by fear, it's like I'm trapped in a cage of my own making. I worry that no matter what I do, my fears will always find a way to haunt me in the future. Section 2. Feel into this balanced, compassionate perspective from your inner coach. Maintain your attention on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I compassionately welcome my constant edginess, seeing it as a sign of my body's vigilance and care for my safety. I lovingly accept the feelings that arise when I remember my childhood, understanding their roots in my past experiences. I gently embrace my inherited fears, acknowledging them as a part of my ancestral story and my deep connection to my lineage. I kindly acknowledge my physical reactions of sweating and trembling, recognizing them as my body's way of responding to perceived threats. I hold space for my vivid nightmares, understanding they are my mind's way of processing and expressing hidden anxieties. I warmly accept my tendency to imagine worst-case scenarios, seeing it as a reflection of my deep capacity for concern and care. I lovingly recognize my belief about fear attracting negativity, understanding it as a sign of my desire for positive experiences. I compassionately acknowledge my avoidance of social situations, seeing it as a reflection of my sensitivity to others' perceptions. I embrace my dread of future events with understanding, knowing it's a part of how I prepare and protect myself. I gently accept my tendency to overcompensate, seeing it as a sign of my strength and resilience in facing my fears. I lovingly hold my fear of abandonment in relationships, understanding it as a reflection of my deep desire for connection and security. I compassionately observe my belief that fear repels positivity, recognizing it as an aspect of my awareness of energy and relationships. I kindly acknowledge my nighttime worries, seeing them as a part of my mind's natural tendency to plan and prepare. I warmly embrace my belief in constant danger, understanding it as a sign of my heightened awareness and instinct for self-preservation. I hold my feelings of missing opportunities with compassion, seeing them as a reflection of my deep desire to engage with life fully. I gently accept my anxiety about leaving my comfort zone, recognizing it as a part of my journey towards growth and change. I lovingly acknowledge my fear of others' judgments, seeing it as a reflection of my deep sense of empathy and understanding. I compassionately embrace my worries about being controlled by fear, recognizing them as a sign of my desire for freedom and normalcy. I warmly accept my reluctance to speak up in groups, understanding it as a part of my process of finding my voice and confidence. I lovingly hold my deep-rooted fears, seeing them as connections to experiences and wisdom beyond my conscious memory. I gently acknowledge my fear of a repetitive past, seeing it as a sign of my deep yearning for growth and new experiences. I compassionately embrace my feelings of suffocation in crowds, recognizing them as a part of my sensitivity to my environment. I kindly acknowledge my belief that fear is a barrier to good, seeing it as a reflection of my awareness of the power of thoughts and intentions. I hold my relationship fears with understanding, recognizing them as a part of my journey towards finding balance and security in love. I lovingly accept my fear of isolation, seeing it as a reflection of my deep desire for connection and community. I gently hold my sense of impending doom, understanding it as a part of my intuitive sensitivity to the world around me. I warmly embrace my worries about physical symptoms, seeing them as a sign of my attentiveness to my body and its signals. I compassionately acknowledge my belief in a dangerous world, recognizing it as a reflection of my instinct for safety and protection. I lovingly accept my intense fear of failure, seeing it as a part of my deep drive to succeed and make meaningful contributions. I hold my fear of missing out on love, success, and happiness with kindness, understanding it as a sign of my aspirations and hopes. 
I gently embrace my dread of future events, recognizing it as part of my natural response to uncertainty and my desire for preparedness. I compassionately acknowledge my powerful fearful thoughts, seeing them as a testament to my vivid imagination and deep emotional capacity. I warmly accept my fears about the future, understanding them as part of my journey towards embracing change and growth. I lovingly hold my life being dictated by fear, seeing it as a reflection of my strength in facing ongoing challenges. I kindly embrace my worries about future hauntings of fear, recognizing them as a sign of my awareness and vigilance. Section 3. Visualizing Positive Change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to see each moment of edginess as an opportunity to embrace calm and find peace in the present. I am open to the possibility of finding strength and resilience in my childhood memories, transforming them into a source of empowerment. I could consider my ancestral fears as wisdom passed down, guiding me to be more mindful and connected with my roots. It would be nice if I could view my physical reactions as signals of my body's remarkable capacity to protect and alert me. It is possible that my nightmares are actually gateways to understanding deeper aspects of myself and releasing hidden fears. I can start to transform my worst-case scenario thinking into a practice of envisioning positive outcomes and cultivating hope. I am willing to explore the idea that my fear can actually attract positive learning experiences, leading to greater resilience. I have the opportunity to use my sensitivity in social situations as a tool for deeper empathy and genuine connections. I am capable of turning my dread of future events into excitement and anticipation for new possibilities and adventures. I embrace the idea of balancing my life areas, using my strengths to build confidence and overcome fears. I am ready to cultivate secure and balanced relationships, where fear of abandonment transforms into a celebration of mutual trust and independence. I am beginning to see that my fear can be a magnet for compassion and understanding from others, attracting positive support. I am receptive to the idea of transforming my nighttime worries into a time for reflection and peaceful planning for a hopeful tomorrow. I am shifting towards a belief in my safety, finding security and comfort in my environment and within myself. I am open-minded about seizing opportunities, turning fear into courage to take bold steps towards fulfilling my dreams. I am allowing myself to gradually step out of my comfort zone, finding joy in new experiences and personal growth. I can imagine a world where I am understood and supported, transforming my fears of judgment into experiences of acceptance and belonging. It might be beneficial to view my fears not as controllers, but as guides leading me towards strength, independence, and emotional freedom. I am prepared to find my voice in group settings, embracing my unique perspective and contributing confidently. I am choosing to focus on healing past life fears, unlocking a deeper understanding and inner peace that transcends time. I am open to the possibility of creating a future filled with joy, breaking the cycle of fear and embracing new beginnings. I can see the potential for finding comfort in crowds, transforming suffocation into a sense of unity and shared human experience. I am becoming more aware of the power of my thoughts and am choosing to manifest positivity and abundance in my life. I am starting to believe in the possibility of balanced, fearless relationships, where commitment and independence coexist harmoniously. I am ready to let go of the fear of isolation, opening myself to a future rich in connections and meaningful relationships. I am exploring the idea of turning my sense of impending doom into an alert system that guides me to safety and well-being. I am creating space for a healthy understanding of my physical symptoms, seeing them as reminders to care for my body and mind. I am entertaining the thought of viewing the world as a place of adventure and opportunity, balancing caution with curiosity and enthusiasm. I am willing to consider embracing my fear of failure as a motivator to try new things and celebrate every effort, regardless of the outcome. I am opening myself up to experiencing love, success, and happiness, shifting my focus from fear to the abundance of opportunities around me. 
I am giving myself permission to approach future events with curiosity and confidence, replacing dread with excitement and positive anticipation. I can see the advantages of using my powerful thoughts to create a positive and nurturing reality, focusing on growth and well-being. I am open to discovering a future that is free from fear, filled with experiences that bring joy, learning, and fulfillment. I am choosing to release the idea that my life is dictated by fear, embracing each day as a chance to live freely and authentically. I am willing to shift my perspective on fear, seeing it not as a haunting presence but as a signpost guiding me towards courage and resilience. Section 4. Bridging the two worlds from emotion to aspiration. Remember to maintain your focus on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Although I feel constantly on edge, I compassionately welcome this as a sign of my body's vigilance, and I am choosing now to see each moment of edginess as an opportunity to embrace calm and find peace in the present. Even though I relive moments of fear and uncertainty from my childhood, I lovingly accept these feelings as part of my past experiences, and I am open to the possibility of finding strength and resilience in these memories, transforming them into a source of empowerment. While I often feel that my fears are inherited, I gently embrace them as part of my ancestral story, and I could consider these ancestral fears as wisdom guiding me to be more mindful and connected with my roots. Despite sweating and trembling in situations where I shouldn't be afraid, I kindly acknowledge these reactions as my body's response to perceived threats, and it would be nice if I could view these reactions as signals of my body's capacity to protect and alert me. Even though I have vivid nightmares where I feel trapped or chased, I hold space for these dreams as my mind's way of processing fears, and it is possible that they are actually gateways to understanding deeper aspects of myself and releasing hidden fears. While my thoughts spiral into worst-case scenarios, I warmly accept this tendency as a reflection of my concern and care, and I can start to transform this thinking into envisioning positive outcomes and cultivating hope. Though I believe my constant fear attracts negative experiences, I lovingly recognize this belief as a sign of my desire for positivity, and I am willing to explore the idea that my fear can attract positive learning experiences, leading to greater resilience. Despite avoiding social situations due to fear of judgment, I compassionately acknowledge this sensitivity, and I have the opportunity to use it as a tool for deeper empathy and genuine connections. Even though thinking about future events fills me with dread, I embrace this feeling with understanding, and I am capable of turning this dread into excitement and anticipation for new possibilities and adventures. While I overcompensate in some life areas to mask my fears, I gently accept this tendency as a sign of strength and resilience, and I embrace the idea of balancing my life, using my strengths to build confidence and overcome fears. Though I fear abandonment in relationships, I lovingly hold this fear, understanding it is a desire for connection, and I am ready to cultivate secure and balanced relationships, where fear of abandonment transforms into a celebration of mutual trust and independence. While I feel my fear repels positive people and opportunities, I compassionately observe this belief as part of my awareness of energy and I am beginning to see that my fear can be a magnet for compassion and understanding from others, attracting positive support. Even though I worry at night about what could go wrong tomorrow, I kindly acknowledge these worries as part of my mind's planning, and I am receptive to the idea of transforming nighttime worries into a time for reflection and peaceful planning for a hopeful tomorrow. Although I constantly believe I'm not safe, I warmly embrace this belief as a sign of heightened awareness, and I am shifting towards a belief in my safety, finding security and comfort in my environment and within myself. Even though I feel my life is a series of missed opportunities due to fear, I hold these feelings with compassion, seeing them as a reflection of my desire to fully engage with life, and I am open-minded about seizing opportunities, turning fear into courage to take bold steps towards fulfilling my dreams. While I get anxious thinking about leaving my comfort zone, I gently accept this anxiety as part of my journey towards growth, and I am allowing myself to gradually step out of my comfort zone, 
finding joy in new experiences and personal growth. Though I fear being judged or plotted against, I lovingly acknowledge this fear as a reflection of my empathy and understanding, and I can imagine a world where I am understood and supported, transforming my fears of judgment into experiences of acceptance and belonging. Even though I worry my fears will always control me, I compassionately embrace these worries as a desire for freedom, and it might be beneficial to view my fears not as controllers, but as guides leading me towards strength, independence, and emotional freedom. While I'm terrified of speaking up in groups, I warmly accept my reluctance, understanding it is part of finding my voice, and I am prepared to find my voice in group settings, embracing my unique perspective and contributing confidently. Though I feel my fears are deep-rooted, possibly from past lives, I lovingly hold these fears, seeing them as connections to wisdom beyond my memory, and I am choosing to focus on healing past life fears, unlocking deeper understanding and inner peace. Even though I'm scared my future will repeat my fearful past, I gently acknowledge this fear as a yearning for growth, and I am open to the possibility of creating a future filled with joy, breaking the cycle of fear and embracing new beginnings. While feeling suffocated in crowds, I compassionately embrace these feelings as part of my environmental sensitivity, and I can see the potential for finding comfort in crowds, transforming suffocation into a sense of unity and shared human experience. Though I believe my fear blocks good from my life, I kindly acknowledge this belief as awareness of the power of thoughts, and I am becoming more aware of the power of my thoughts, choosing to manifest positivity and abundance in my life. Despite fears of commitment or being alone in relationships, I hold these fears with understanding, recognizing them as part of my journey towards love balance, and I am starting to believe in the possibility of balanced, fearless relationships where commitment and independence coexist harmoniously. While I fear isolation in the future, I lovingly accept this fear as a desire for connection, and I am ready to let go of the fear of isolation, opening myself to a future rich in connections and meaningful relationships. Although I constantly feel a sense of impending doom, I gently hold this feeling, understanding it is intuitive sensitivity, and I am exploring the idea of turning this sense into an alert system that guides me to safety and well-being. Even though I worry about physical symptoms being signs of illness, I warmly embrace these worries as reminders to care for my body, and I am creating space for a healthy understanding of my symptoms, seeing them as reminders to care for my body and mind. Though I believe the world is a dangerous place, I compassionately acknowledge this belief as an instinct for safety, and I am entertaining the thought of viewing the world as a place of adventure and opportunity, balancing caution with curiosity and enthusiasm. While I have an intense fear of failure, I lovingly accept this fear as part of my drive to succeed, and I am willing to consider embracing my fear of failure as a motivator to try new things and celebrate every effort, regardless of the outcome. 30. Though I fear missing out on love, success, and happiness, I hold this fear with kindness, understanding it is a sign of my hopes and aspirations, and I am opening myself up to experiencing love, success, and happiness, shifting my focus from fear to the abundance of opportunities around me. Even though I dread future events, fearing panic or embarrassment, I gently embrace this dread, recognizing it as part of my natural response to uncertainty, and I am giving myself permission to approach future events with curiosity and confidence, replacing dread with excitement and positive anticipation. While I believe my fearful thoughts create a negative reality, I compassionately acknowledge this power of thought, and I can see the advantages of using my powerful thoughts to create a positive and nurturing reality, focusing on growth and well-being. Though I'm terrified my future will be filled with fear like my past and present, I warmly accept these fears as part of my journey, and I am open to discovering a future that is free from fear, filled with experiences that bring joy, learning, and fulfillment. Even though I feel like my life is dictated by fear, I lovingly hold this perception, seeing it as a reflection of my strength in facing challenges, and I am choosing to release the idea that my life is dictated by fear, embracing each day as a chance to live freely and authentically. 
While I worry that my fears will always haunt me in the future, I kindly embrace these worries as a sign of my awareness and vigilance, and I am willing to shift my perspective on fear, seeing it not as a haunting presence but as a signpost guiding me towards courage and resilience. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go into gratitude. Section 5. Preemptive Gratitude for Transformation. These affirmations are designed to uplift your spirit, align you with your highest self, and resonate with the boundless love and support that the universe offers you. I am grateful for the strength and resilience I have cultivated, transforming my fears into stepping stones towards a joyful and fulfilling life. I am thankful for the wisdom and insights gained from my past, which have empowered me to live more authentically and fearlessly. I am deeply appreciative of my connection to my ancestors, whose experiences have shaped my journey towards mindfulness and self-awareness. I am grateful for my body's remarkable ability to protect and alert me, guiding me towards greater understanding and self-care. I am thankful for the lessons learned from my dreams, which have brought hidden fears to light and enabled their release and healing. I am grateful for the power of positive thinking, which has transformed my approach to life, filling it with hope and optimism. I am appreciative of the challenges that fear has presented, as they have led to greater resilience and an openness to learning and growth. I am thankful for my deep empathy and sensitivity, which have enriched my connections with others and brought genuine relationships into my life. I am grateful for the excitement and anticipation I now feel for the future, replacing dread with a sense of wonder and possibility. I am thankful for finding balance in my life, which has given me the confidence to face fears and embrace new experiences with courage. I am deeply appreciative of the trust and independence I have cultivated in my relationships, overcoming the fear of abandonment. I am grateful for the compassion and understanding I have attracted from others, turning my fears into opportunities for connection and support. I am thankful for the peaceful nights and hopeful tomorrows, as my worries have transformed into reflections and positive planning. I am appreciative of the security and comfort I have found within myself, allowing me to feel safe and protected wherever I am. I am grateful for the courage to seize opportunities, turning missed chances into moments of bold action and fulfillment. I am thankful for the joy and personal growth discovered outside my comfort zone, embracing new experiences with enthusiasm. I am grateful for the acceptance and belonging I have found, transforming fears of judgment into experiences of support and understanding. I am appreciative of my journey towards emotional freedom, viewing my fears as guides leading me to strength and independence. I am thankful for finding my voice and confidence in group settings, contributing my unique perspective and ideas. I am grateful for the inner peace and understanding I've gained, healing fears from past lives and embracing the present with tranquility. I am thankful for the joyous and fear-free future I am creating, breaking cycles of fear and opening myself to new beginnings. I am appreciative of the unity and shared experiences I now feel in crowds transforming feelings of suffocation into comfort and connection. I am grateful for the power of my thoughts to manifest positivity and abundance, focusing on growth and well-being. I am thankful for the harmonious and fearless relationships in my life, where commitment and independence coexist in balance. I am grateful for the rich connections and meaningful relationships I have cultivated, overcoming the fear of isolation and embracing community. I am appreciative of my intuitive sensitivity, guiding me to safety and well-being. I am thankful for my attentiveness to my body and mind, caring for them and recognizing their signals as reminders of self-care. I am grateful for seeing the world as a place of adventure and opportunity, balancing caution with curiosity and enthusiasm. I am appreciative of the motivation and celebration of effort that my fear of failure has brought me, encouraging me to try new things. I am thankful for the abundance of love, success, and happiness in my life, shifting my focus from fear to the richness of opportunities around me. I am grateful for the curiosity and confidence I now bring to future events, replacing dread with excitement and positive anticipation. I am appreciative of my ability to create a positive and nurturing reality with my thoughts, focusing on growth and well-being. 
I am thankful for the joy, learning, and fulfillment in my future, free from the constraints of fear. I am grateful for embracing each day as a chance to live freely and authentically, releasing the notion that my life is dictated by fear. I am appreciative of the courage and resilience I have developed, seeing my fears not as haunting presences but as signposts guiding me towards a stronger, braver self. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started, and consider journaling your notes about this session and any areas you'd like to explore. Be attentive to the potential reduction in the emotional weight of certain memories and actual circumstance shifts in your daily life. Note that it may take one several or many uses of this program to completely clear or reframe this pattern and beliefs. This program and affirmations serve to fortify your inner journey toward a more empowered state. Feel free to revisit them whenever you need to. For more details, see the link in the bio or description below.